Today we're going to take care of this problem. There we go. Check it out. riding along in the Ford today and a long time ago I did a transmission fiasco video because the transmission is uh, sounded like the torque converter was going there's kind of two different things that can uh, can make your transmission shutter and that would be the torque converter or the uh, coils and plugs the ignition uh, there's sensors in the uh, Ford engines there that uh, if you're not getting the right spark, they will not lock into overdrive, so it causes a flutter situation at certain speeds, and that tends to be right around the, uh, let's call it the 40, 50 mile an hour speed, it'll cause it to shudder. So it kind of happens when you're under acceleration, but light acceleration. So uh, I'm going to turn the camera around. Getting ready to head uphill, I'm pissing traffic off because I'm going too slow, but uh, maybe we'll get her here. There we go. And you can just really accelerate out of it and it goes away. Bro does it to me all the time. I'm guessing you guys can hear that. There's the speedometer. Little accelerator. We're just on a little bit of a hill, a little bit of an incline there. Let's take a peek at what we're going to do to the truck today. We've got some Excel Super Coils. Uh, they'll claim that they provide more horsepower and spark and uh, they'll make your kids magically smarter in school and make food taste better. These are about $220, $240 compared with what Ford wants which is about $750 for eight of these. A little dielectric grease to put on these guys as you install them. Eight new spark plugs. I know there's only four here, but we got four more in the box. We're gonna need a couple little tools, a spark plug wrench and a seven millimeter wrench are gonna be our main ones. You want universals and all those uh, extensions and fun stuff uh, to make this a little bit easier. The other thing that we do have is a couple cans of uh, my favorite penetrating fluid, which is PB Blaster. I'm not doing a commercial for them. This stuff just happens to work really, really well. We're going to crack each of the spark plugs about a quarter turn. We're going to spray it with penetrating oil, and then I'm going to change the oil in the vehicle. So that's how long I'm going to let it penetrate, and then we're going to back those plugs back out so that we don't have one break off in the head. Uh, we're going to start right here uh, with this plug, and the clips here just uh, have a little tab right there and you just push down on that tab and pull the clip back and then it's got a little seven millimeter uh, nut or bolt sorry bolt here and you take that piece out as these wires really only reach uh, you know so far so you don't have to worry about getting them all mixed up like you would typical spark plugs there's there's the coil there that uh, came out. I can't remember if these have the hardware, but we're going to keep that with it just so we know we got everything out of the truck. Now that we've got our coils out of the way, I want to make sure no debris gets into the cylinders. So I'm going to blow them out. We're just going to take our 9 16 inch uh, wrench here and crack each of the spark plugs a quarter of a turn. There's our quarter. That's all the further we're going. Okay, we're cracked open, so we'll use a little uh, PB, and we'll let that sit while we change the oil. This is uh, this is side two over here, <clears throat> sort of exactly like the first, and uh, we're just gonna hop in there, go quarter turns.
like so. On that little beauty in the back there, uh, in order to get to it, we had to take off uh, this little guy right here, which uh, is this little thing. And hang on, I'm gonna try and get you focused here. Bear with me. And basically, to get this off, there's a little plastic deal here, and you've got to you've got to pull it back, you know, like that, and then the whole thing comes off. So. That's how you do that one. It'll confuse you a little bit if you don't know that. There it goes, finally. Holy crap. Uh, wow. Um, hmm. I think that may be one problem. That sucks. Uh, half the spark plug is not out so that's definitely broke off in there so we need to somehow figure out how to get that out that really sucks oh I got something I got the pin uh, the electrode whatever you want to call that here we are guys uh, on the F-150 here so far five for five on broken spark plugs can't express how frustrated I am right now. I usually try and keep my cool <sighs> on the YouTube. I'm so frustrated right now, I'm about to fucking choke something out. <sighs> Pardon my French. There it is, the uh, eighth plug finally came out whole. And you can see the carbon build up on the end of these, and it's really it's quite thick, you know. It's not just a, a color, it's actually a build up, and uh, it squeaked all the way out. And I let it sit for probably three hours, maybe four, and uh, turned it a few times in the middle there. And uh, we wound up with, yeah, this is beautiful, seven of them broken. So seven out of eight are broken. So I'm about to go pick up an extractor. So we're all going to learn to use the extractor together. If you're going to do a plug and coil job on a Ford, just go ahead and uh, when you go to the parts store, pick one of these up. It's a uh, broken spark plug removal set because you're going to need it. Chances are you're going to need it. If you just pick it up, you'll have it. You also need the consumables that go with this. Uh, so, you, so that's plug number one uh, with our kit here. And uh, we got six more to do, so I got the second one gluing. It's going to be a long, long day, folks. There's the aftermath of all the plugs. We got one good one and seven partials. All pieces came out and are accounted for. And then uh, there's our eight former coils, of which I think most of them are probably still good, so I'll keep them around in case I have one go bad. Uh, I can swap them in and out. I just got, you know, kind of pieces and parts to uh, play with. Installation of the coils is exactly the uh, <coughs> reverse of removal. You just uh, pop them into the counter bore there for the spark plug. Kind of line the hole up. I use a mechanical hand put the screw in because I'm just too klutzy and I drop screws all the time because my hands don't fit and all that kind of stuff so that just makes it easier for me but uh, on the spark plug install you want to use plenty of anti-seize because these are aluminum heads on the Fords and uh, you know grease them up good so that they don't cross thread and start them by hand that is the most important piece you have to start them by hand and what that means is you take your spark plug tool and your extension and you clip it on the spark plug and you take your socket wrench off and you just uh, twist that sucker by hand and then for this little guy you just pop her on there and uh, 
Again, it's a seven millimeter spark plug torque. I used uh, 28 foot-pounds on that. The factory said 13 and they came out with a uh, service bulletin because they were blowing spark plugs out and said go ahead and tighten them down to 28. So uh, 28 is workable. I didn't strip any of these out at 28 so I feel pretty comfortable passing that one on. Let's take a good final look. I have noticed since I started putting these on, food tastes better. You know, I actually like broccoli now. Things don't smell so bad. Uh, you know, all the things that you would expect from a uh, high, high uh, performance coil pack. So there they are, there's the finished product. It's time to go for a test drive. It's been two weeks since I started working on the coils. I think uh, some of you guys probably saw the video where I had to extract a uh, socket from one of my spark plug holes. But all the, uh, all the socket extraction has happened and all that kind of fun stuff. So now we're out on the test drive. I've been driving it for a week and uh, it's been driving like a dream. So right now we're in that same spot where uh, when I was filming the uh, lead up to this, this is, this is the same hills up here. And we're just looking at the speedometer. I'm trying to get it about right at 50. It just locked out into overdrive and uh, we're starting to put a load on it. That's where it would normally shutter uh, prior to the fix, and there was no shutter there. I don't know if you guys heard all of that, but when it would shutter, you could hear it really well. So uh, no shutter. It's been driving freaking awesome for about a week. Um, but prior to, let's see, right after the repair, the uh, shutter went away at 40 to 50 miles an hour. That went away, and it started shuttering at like, 65 70 and above and so I couldn't exceed like 65 miles an hour I'm not sure what was going on there I had the codes or I read the codes a couple times sorry about the backlight guys we'll try and sweep, sweep that around but I read the codes a couple times and uh, it was you know a misfire an oxygen sensor uh, something or other there were nine codes that were getting set and I thought well okay there's one failure that's setting a whole shitload of codes and uh, basically it wound up just cleaning itself up and my guess is that all the PB blaster and other miscellaneous oils that I put down into the cylinders or into the spark plug bores to get the spark plugs loosened up uh, probably fouled up the oxygen sensors pretty bad and uh, my guess is those oxygen sensors being fouled were controlling the fuel and air and all that kind of fun stuff uh, incorrectly. So the truck, uh, from a shuttering standpoint, is fixed. The coils and spark plugs fix that problem. Uh, the spark plug hole that I had to uh, use epoxy to fill back in where I grinded the socket out of, uh, it's holding. I've probably got uh, 600 miles on it in the last week, something like that. So uh, I figured after about 500 miles I would know yes or no whether that was going to hold. So the epoxy is holding as a high temperature JB weld. Uh, you know we've been going 90 miles an hour in it and all that kind of stuff just trying to stress test it. So problem fixed. The initial video that I did on the transmission fiasco when I went and took the valve body out and looked at the solenoids was back from December of 2012 so this problem's been nagging the shit out of me for almost two years and uh, just trying to nickel and dime fix it. it hadn't worked just the wholesale all new coils all new plugs definitely was the trick to make it work so uh, again another lesson in stick to itiveness if you got something bugging you on your car don't give up 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 uh, there's a fix out there and uh, whatever your skill level is right now you can probably learn enough to fix it so don't let your meat loaf. <laughs>